Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Hello, hello, my sweet, beautiful, wonderful friends. I just wanna take a second to thank you guys for all of your wonderful comments on Friday's video. As you know, I hurt my neck worse than I thought. I ended up in urgent care yesterday, having to get steroid shots in my neck and other medications. It, let me just say this last week was rough. I overdid it clearly and I've sprained my neck and I had to get x-rays and all that. So I'm still waiting on those, but the pain, oh my gosh, you guys. That one day I did the video and I said I was much better. The next day I paid for all that work I did. I was down for the count the, until yesterday. Today, um, because of the steroids, I can actually move my neck. It's, I feel like me again. I, I can't even tell you how bad it was. So anyway, I just wanna thank you for your prayers and your kind thoughts. I love you all. Let's get on to decorating because I know that's what you're here for. I am still plugging away with fall decor. And I have to tell you, a lot of you have told me, Liz, I'm so glad you're not jumping into Christmas yet because a lot of you are still decorating for fall. And I know as YouTube creators, a lot of us are on the retail schedule. And because of our move, I have opted not to go that route this year. And a lot of you have said, thank you for not doing that. So your wish is my command this year. Maybe I'll start Christmas a little later. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I know people are on the fence with early Christmas and they, some love it, some hate it. So let me know in the comments below if you don't mind. Now, don't you worry. I'm going to be extremely careful, but I'm going to gently push my French country hutch into place. I'll be careful, I promise. It fits perfectly. Now, before I get this moved over and set into place, I forgot, I've got to add ambiance. I have to add a lamp. Now, I have a little plug that this will plug into that will allow me to control this light with my phone. So in other words, at night when I want it to turn off, I'm not gonna to have to climb up there and turn it off. I'll be able to just use the app on my phone, turn it on, turn it off. And I'll link it in the description box and below. And those plugs work great for hard to reach places. So just FYI. Better already. Now I'm gonna scoot it over real quick. Dawn. forgot to plug it into that special plug. So I got to run downstairs and have my husband find it for me and I'll replug it in. But just so you know, I'll link it below. I'm going to start by adding this arched wall gate. I found this at Ross um, years ago, but I still see these on occasion. So if you like this, you can try to look for it there. And I believe it was $39.99. Um, I'm going to place it up there and uh, let's see where I go with it. I'm gonna add this letter R. It's black, it's it's rustic. I got it at Hobby Lobby for $15, and I'm gonna layer it on that arched wall gate. Now I'm going to add my rooster. I got this at Steinmart for $39. I think that's what it said. Yep, $39 at Steinmart back in the day. 
and I'm gonna put it over that way. Now I'm gonna add a splash of florals and a garland. I'm gonna put the garland up there and then kind of plug these in where I see fit. So right here in this area, I think, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I just found this cute, tiny little piece of greenery and I'm just gonna throw it here for a splash of a pop of green. And then, let me see. I think I got these at uh, Hobby Lobby and this at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to Yeah, just put it there like that. And then throw this pick in. And then I have this. And actually I might put this in here. I don't know, we'll see. But I think I wanna, I'm just gonna kind of put this around the rooster. Maybe I'll intertwine it in here. Actually, I'm just gonna put it under this. And I think that's good. So I'm gonna take this one sunflower I have and I'm just gonna stick it in here. No, no, I'm not. I lied. And then I've got a little pheasant. I got this at at home last year for $12.99. And I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna set him there. Maybe spread these out a little bit. There we go. And there's like a little pine cone right there. I think it's cute. I found out that the truth was that got the top done let's work on the inside of this hutch and add lots of pops of fall color so we are keeping this super basic super simple I got these plates at Walmart last year and then I've got these plates I got these on Amazon um, I'll try to link them below in case you're interested they're certified international if you're if you want to know but um, I love these we're gonna be using both of these plates in this display. I've got some plate holders and, and you can get these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, any craft supply store. Um, but I'm gonna be adding some plates right in here. got two pumpkin plates. I'm going to put these on either side of that plate. I feel like we need a splash of green. So I got this little wreath from LTD Commodities and I'm just gonna kind of smoosh it right there 
right in the center. And now we're gonna go in with two plates on either side and call it done on that shot. Okay, change of plans. I've decided to go in with my Williams Sonoma pumpkin and I actually got this whole collection at an estate sale for $40. So check out estate sales. You never know what you're gonna find and at what great prices. So check it now out. Now the green wreath will act as my backdrop and this will go right in front of it. Now on either side, I am going to put these. I don't know if you guys can tell the colors, but they're super cute. And let's see, I guess I'll put one here and one here. Actually, I want them to see through the window. You see, it's just a little peekaboo right there and one right there. Actually, let me scoot this plate over a little bit and there you go. Now on the bottom shelf, I'm mimicking what I did um, up here. I don't know if you guys can see, but I put two of these plates on the very ends. I'm gonna mimic that on the bottom. And then I have this cute one and I have this one, but I don't want it to, it is, there's orange here, so I don't want to put a pop of orange there. So I think I'm going to opt for this one. So I think that's going to do it for my French country hutch here in the dining room. And um, I think it turned out really cute. By the way, I love adding little tassels. It just dresses it up a little bit. And um, you can always find these at Walmart. You can find these at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can find these at Tuesday morning. I, I think they're going out of business though. Don't go there then. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, these are really cute. Like this one has like a little butterfly and some little beads at the bottom, but I think they're darling to add to your hutches, your doors, just to dress things up a little. Now, as you can see, I got my curtains hung, but um, yeah, I hung one too many curtains and hurt my neck on that ladder. So um, I need to find my steam cleaner so I can steam these and get them looking beautiful. Um, I actually had my daughter buy these at Bed Bath & Beyond and she got blackout curtains with, which I, which I really didn't want. And it was hard to tell when she was, she was being my personal shopper. So I can't complain, but the way she, cause I said I wanted like faux silk curtains cause they lay so beautifully on your, um, from your rods and she got blackout curtains, I, be, but it's my fault because I said, find me a curtain that's ivory, that's lined white on the other side so it looks pretty from the outside and she got me blackout curtains but they're a little stiff so they're probably hard to get the wrinkles out of i sometimes i hang curtains and the sun comes in or heat and they kind of get the wrinkles kind of come out on their own um not the case with these so i've got to get a steam clean the steamer out and um not the steam cleaner this see it's the head it's the pain i can't think straight but the steamer I need to get them smoothed out and pretty. So I hung, I got them all hung though. So, so I've had a few people ask me if I could give them a closer look at these curtains because they look like something they wanted. So 
here you go. Um, they are wrinkled, wrinkled, wrinkled. Need to fix this. But what I liked about them is it has the appearance of a faux silk curtain without the, uh, the price. But, and they are lined white. They are thick, they're heavy duty. And you can see they block out light very well. They are also pleated really pretty at the top, which I'm a fan of. So, you know, you can make them look really pretty. I bought curtain clips, but I decided not to use them because I think the pleats are so pretty. You know what I mean? So yeah, just a heads up. If you get these, they are nice curtains, very heavy duty. Um, but <laughs> the wrinkles, that's going to take some getting out. It's going to take some work. One more thing. So my friend and subby here on my channel, Constantine, he recommended a channel for me. He said, go check them out. They're real down to earth people. You're going to love them. So I went over there and you guys, when I was in pain the other day, I was literally binge watching all their videos. If you are looking for inspiration through the seasons, you must run over there, check them out, subscribe. These people, they need to go through the roof. They deserve it. So David Christopher's is a retail and wholesale home decor store. Um, you must check him out because he does phenomenal work. And um, I was watching his latest video where he did a lantern within a wreath for Christmas. Um, if you are looking for Christmas in inspiration, look no further um, because... They do amazing work and you will get so many ideas. I thought that wreath with the lantern is genius and I may have to copy that idea. So run over there because you will get loads of inspiration. All right, my sweet friends, I am going to go edit this video and try to get it out for you ASAP. Thanks so much for stopping by and I will see you Friday. Mwah! Love you guys. And Constantine, thank you for recommending that channel. You're the best.